It's another video from Aussie's Robot. But you got a banana collection. Boop a doo dee doo dee doo dee dee doo. Hey everyone, welcome back. Good morning. It's your favorite toy guy here with another cool toy. No blasphemy here, no blasphemy, but I can say amen. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Welcome back, welcome back. Uh, before we get rolling, as always, especially if you're on the East Coast like me, if it's morning, grab your wake-me-up thing, which is, generally speaking, a delicious cup of coffee or tea. Stir it, clank it, adjust it, get a snack now, rub the Sandman out of your eyes, park your rear in a cozy, comfy, Barco lounger type chair. What the hell is the Barco lounger, I always ask? I don't know. I'm going to have to look it up. Next time I do a live stream, I'm going to look up Barco lounger, see if they still make them anymore. Anyway, with all that out of the way, if you're ready to rock and roll, did you know that one of your most famous painters of all time... Rembrandt was actually a monkey. You probably didn't know that. <laughs> well, you do now because uh, here he is, the sought-after, exclusive Rembrandt monkey painter. You know, I've been wanting a good example of this toy. I've only had it once before, and I don't even know why I got rid of it. Somewhere along the line, it disappeared from the collection. Is this the perfect example? Nope. Uh, for one, it doesn't have a freaking paintbrush in his hand, which sort of like pisses me off. Where is the paintbrush? Mr. Craig from Smith House Toys. But that's a story for another day. And uh, the box could be better. It has a little piece missing there, which I'm not real happy about. But, you know, I, that I saw. The brush is a different story. However, it is just a cool toy, fairly rare in the battery toy collecting circles. You know, there's a lot of bears. There's a lot of monkeys, but not like this. So here is the Rembrandt monkey. I mean, you got to love this guy. He's smoking a pipe, and he's got his easel and his palette, his canvas, and he's ready to just paint something. Now, this has both the Roscoe distributor logo and the TN Anomura logo, so you know that it was distributed by Roscoe. Look at the serious expression on his face. What's he painting? Well, I'm going to show you when we get to that point. There's actually another manufacturer on here, too. Now, here's the side. Not in the greatest condition, you know. That's why I said this isn't, like, the definitive example of this toy for me. But here is another manufacturer's logo, M&M, &M, the Mountain Movers. Here's a better side panel. So I probably in a you know any other world I'd probably wait for like the perfect example but you know what I, it doesn't come up that often enough that I said you know let me just wait because uh, you know quite frankly I don't want to wait years and years and if I could upgrade it at some point I will but it's a pretty decent example nonetheless in the original box so here is the toy. Nice mountain scenes. I wonder it has the MM Mountain. There's your on off switch made in Japan. It looks like a cameo pattern on the base. Another idyllic scene of the lake and the mountains and the clouds and the birds and the river. Mountains back there. And what the hell is he painting? Look at this fabric. I always find these fascinating, you know, like who is making this fabric? It's kind of neat, you know, very old school. So. 1950s, 65 to 70 years old now, this fabric. Felt was a big thing. His uh, beret. <laughs> first, first, not too bad. And what the hell is he painting? Let's look at his painting. Can we make it out? Looks like Whistler's grandmother or something. What is that? It's got a, like a card of some kind. Is this a uh, overlay? Yeah, this is, so I'm assuming this might have a light in there. And on this side here, so you got this couple. There you go, that's a little better. Pretty cool, huh? Anyway, enough of my nonsense. I just think it's cool, like the level of detail that they had to go through 
Um, you know, I'm going to kill the lights for a few seconds before the motion thing picks it up. And there we go. Oh, that is pretty damn cool. So the light changes from the, the palette to the canvas. That's a neat effect. Very neat. There's the automatic light. And speaking of lights, you know the one thing we don't want to do is burn out the original lights. So I am going to shut him down in three, two... Where's that switch? One. There we go. And that's it, my friends. That's your rare Rembrandt The Monkey Painter by No More by MM, distributed by Roscoe. If you like this, do me a favor, thumb up the video. Let me know if you have a Rembrandt Monkey Painter. I still want to get a more pristine, like, C10 example. But like I said, for now, this will suffice. So if you like it, thumb up the video, leave a remark. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so. And now, actually, I can even show you the painting better because he's out of the way there you go look at that that is pretty freaking cool and that's all tin has very very unique actions for the battery toy world so with that thanks for your time always appreciated and i my friends will talk to you later